Good morning, guys. I managed to get out for breakfast this morning. How amazing is that? Yeah, so today I'm coming down to uh, the White Temple, which is what I thought it was called, but there was actually a proper name for it. Um, this walk run couldn't I actually rode straight past it and uh, went down to a police checkpoint. And I was like, White Temple? And I was like, huh? And then I pulled out uh, my phone and said, oh, it's actually what wrong could. So now I'm here. Um, it's going to be very interesting. It's completely different to the, Ooh, the, re <laughs> <laughs> to the rest of the, um, uh, yeah, to the rest of the temples, like everywhere. It's completely different. So it's going to be very interesting. I mean, look at the traffic cones, for example. Right, let me get up to one. Check that out. That's the traffic cones, and they've just got like heads hanging from the tree. So, yeah, let's go in and have a look. So you can go inside the temple, um, but you're not allowed to film or like, take photos in there. Uh, they've got a lock, lockdown pretty tight as well, so I can even shady record. Especially with this camera, it's a bit harder, like just holding it against something sort of thing. Um, but yeah, they had pictures. It was so strange. Like they had like um, like a monk sitting at the back, um, just one of those figures that I saw in. Chang Mei, like the ones that re look really, li re yeah, realistic. Um, and then they had like Buddha behind. Um, and the mur murals painted on the wall, like, they were so strange. It was not normal murals, it was all these dragons and fish and stuff like that and eating each other. And then on the back wall, I had Superman, Michael Jackson, like robots from Star Wars. Um, what else was in there? Jack Sparrow. Um, and a Nokia 3310. You know, all the greats, all the great superheroes. <laughs> it was so strange, like going in there to look these weird pictures. So yeah, it's, uh, it's quite funny, but it's, it's really different here. Like, like I said many times it's but it's cool it's very cool to see and you don't have to pay to get in which is brilliant So this place is just crazy. It's uh, yeah, it's really good to see actually. There's still a lot of it under construction. Like these bits, are, the buildings are built, but they're very basic. There's no decoration on them and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, uh, it's one guy's wild dream. Um, one designer, and he's just designing it and they're building it as they go. So yeah, it's absolutely mad to see. Check out that for a no smoking sign. Okay, so this is just how crazy this place is, look. Just a predator, just coming out the ground. And a dog, if you want the sunshine as well. <laughs> Getting a bit loud here though, so I'm going to move away. So this is the guy who well, um, designed it, I'm guessing. 
Good work, dude. How's it going? So yeah, that's him. You want to know who designed it? Crazy mind. Yeah. Now we're going to move on. Um, pretty sure there's a waterfall near here, so let's see if I can try and find that. Um, I've got all day, so yeah, have a look. if you could hear me back there um, so I'll just say it again and um, but yeah the waterfall was really awesome but it was so much better than the ones in Price but like all of them put together even and uh, yeah it's really I think it's the impression that I'm getting is uh, Chiang Rai is rather unappreciated as a tourist destination I think because a lot of it is so far out um, like the hike I'm going to tomorrow I think it's like 60 kilometers outside town so I'll have to get there myself or pay a lot for a taxi. So um, yeah, so it was actually quite a nice little town. Like it's got a really nice night market, which I'll show you later. Um, so yeah, I think it's really unappreciated as a, a destination, um, and a lot of the places are um, okay. They're smaller and stuff like that. But this place is like so well kept. I think it, I'm not sure if it's a national park or not. Um, but yeah, it's like a proper maintained trail um, with proper stairs and, well, not proper stairs, but stairs that are cut out and then they've got bamboo on the edge. Um, whereas like the ones in Pi were just trails which were sort of trodden and that's how you got to the waterfalls. So yeah, I think it's uh, actually quite nice here. So my expectations for Chang Rai weren't very high, but they're gradually, gradually picking me up about this place, it's quite a nice little place. Hey guys, back at the hostel now. Um, the last year at the waterfall. Uh, yeah, come back from the waterfall and went to bus station to book my bu bus ticket. Um, so I got that for tomorrow night. Um, overnight bus to Bangkok, back there. So, yeah. Um, from back at the hostel, I wanted to do some washing, um, but the machines here were coin operated and the reception don't have any change, so I'll, I didn't really want to go out. Um, so they said they'll have change later, so I'll just do it a bit later. I'm sitting here just doing a video, um, getting another one done, and I'll probably do another one, um, and then pop out this evening um, to the night market, which will be really cool. I'm really looking forward to looking around there. Uh, I'll show you the um, common area actually, like most hostels have one and it's normally it's just a chill place sort of thing. And they've got a TV with like bean bags, um, they've got a load of movies in there, a uh, magazine and book rack, there's a few computers if you want to use a computer and just some like uh, comfy chairs. So yeah, it's just a really like chill place um, and it's a good place, place to meet other um, travellers as well, just come and chill in here. And, like generally in the evening um, there's more people in here so um, yeah that's mostly like what um, common areas are like in hostels so yeah just to give you an idea really um, so yeah just gonna sit do some more work and um, just do some research about um, tomorrow as well because I'm going I'm riding out to a national park that's quite far away so I've got to work out the route and stuff like that so yeah very much just lazy afternoon. I managed to get one video done and uploaded. Um, got some wash on the go. I managed to get some change from the reception. Um, yeah, now come down to the night market. Oh, I also started um, work on a special project. Um, and as, uh, as I was saying, I started work on a um, project video, um, sort of a, a uh, milestone video. Um, so I started work on it, uh, it's just like roughly, um, got, I've got a while to work on it, so um, yeah, just come down to the night market, grab some food, 
um, and have a look around. decision on what I'm going to do with the cameras and I'll go into it, I'll explain how I want to get to Bangkok um, I'm pretty sure I have anyway um, so yeah got that sorted in Bangkok um, on Sunday which is in two days time so yeah get that sorted then um, so we're we'll back to decent quality um, yeah heading back to the hostel now um, sort of washing out and this video stuff, some more video stuff, so nothing that interesting really. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sign off here. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you next time.